Margaret Lindsay was an actress known for her roles in films during the 1930s and 1940s. With a career spanning over two decades, she appeared alongside some of the biggest names of her time. Her performances were marked by a quiet elegance and a subtle touch of grace. Now let's turn the spotlight to you. Do you know any interesting stories or little known facts about Margaret Lindsay? Perhaps you have a personal tale of how she touched your life or inspired you. What's your most treasured memory related to Margaret Lindsay? We're eager to hear your unique stories and memories, so please share them with us in the comments. Stay tuned as we have many surprising, amusing, and even poignant facts about Margaret Lindsay to share with you. Keep watching to discover more about this classic star's life and career. Margaret Lindsay was a distinguished actress whose career spanned from the 1930s to the 1970s. She was known for her elegance and acting skills, which made her a favorite in both lead and supporting roles. Lindsay worked with some of the most respected directors and actors of her time, bringing memorable performances to the silver screen. Her work remains significant as it reflects the cinematic style and cultural attitudes of her era, making her a notable figure in the history of film. In the world of early Hollywood, a young woman's wit charmed a room full of seasoned professionals. She claimed to be an English actress and secured a role in a major film, only to reveal later that she was not from England at all. The incident became a humorous anecdote, retold by a famous actor in one of his films. This same actress, connected by marriage to another notable actor, faced challenges on set with a director who doubted her ability to portray a strong character. To address this, he cleverly positioned her above her co-star in a pivotal scene, using the visual power of height to convey the strength he felt she lacked. Despite claims of a symbolic shot emphasizing this power dynamic, no such shot exists in the final cut of the movie. In the golden era of Hollywood, friendships among stars were the norm, and she was no exception, sharing a close bond with Mary McCarty. Her talent shone through in her portrayal of Amy Bradford Dillard in the film Jezebel, a role that came to her after initial plans changed, with Edmund Gooding stepping down as director and Anita Louise being replaced. Tragedy struck close to home when her friend Thelma Todd passed away under mysterious circumstances. Overcome with grief, she withdrew from her current project, Murder by an Aristocrat, and Marguerite Churchill stepped in to fill the role. Margaret Lindsay was an actress who faced the common challenge of maintaining a youthful appearance in the competitive Hollywood landscape. This pressure is a reflection of the broader societal expectations placed on women, particularly in the entertainment industry, to adhere to standards of beauty and youth. Lindsay's career, like many of her peers, was influenced by these demands, which often led to a reliance on cosmetic procedures and strict personal maintenance routines. Additionally, she navigated the typical struggles of an actor, such as typecasting, fluctuating popularity, and the constant search for meaningful roles that offered both creative satisfaction and public acclaim. Despite these challenges, Lindsay managed to sustain a career that spanned several decades, adapting to changing trends and audience preferences while maintaining her professional standing in a rapidly evolving industry. Sharing the screen with Bette Davis, she played significant roles in the films that earned Davis her first two Academy Awards. Notably, she portrayed Lois Underwood in Lady Killer, which was one of the four movies where she starred opposite James Cagney. Beyond her professional achievements, she was also known for her personal life, being the sister of Jane Gilbert. Her career and family ties highlight her presence in the film industry during a classic era. In the golden era of Hollywood, she shared the screen with James Cagney, becoming a familiar face in his films throughout the 1930s. Her performances reached a wider audience when two of her films were recognized for their significance and preserved in the National Film Registry. Notably, her role as Kay McCord in G-Men stood out, marking one of the four times she played opposite Cagney as his on-screen partner. Her presence in these films not only showcased her acting skills, but also contributed to the lasting appeal of the classics she was part of. In the golden era of Hollywood, amidst the glitz and glamour, the life of an actress was not always as it seemed. Margaret Lindsay, known for her roles in films like Jezebel and The House of the Seven Gables, faced a personal tragedy that was largely unknown to the public. Despite her success on screen, she endured the loss of her brother, whose life was cut short in a plane crash during World War II. This event deeply affected Lindsay, 
casting a shadow over her personal life, even as her professional career continued to flourish. Her story is a reminder that behind the camera, actors carry their own burdens and sorrows often unseen by the adoring public.